Good, get an internet. Meow. Well, where we last left off, we just upgraded our ship and we can leave Paradiso. So I'm going to. Escape trajectory oh, floated. Floated. Let's make sure we have audio. Orbital insertion completed. Okay. One moment. There we go. Now we have audio. I'm pretty sure it was still recording, but hard to tell. We are not doing that quest right now. No. Where are we going anyway? Excellent question. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at this ridiculous ship. I kind of want to get into a space combat to see how well this works. Mm -hmm. There's a ship. First, it could be friendly. Yep. Watch it be the ship that I just went to and Bethesda just glitched. Derelict Privateer. I'm not familiar with this. I don't think I've found that one either. Huh. It has multiple systems offline, so not particularly useful for what I want to try. But... Um, what was how to scan a ship? F. The Class B ship, so it is possible to destroy. find out. Why not? Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the paint. The enemy crew may not like visitors. We don't know that they're enemies yet. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, they are. I'm seeing the orange yep. at the stealth bar. So, what the hell happened here? Ah. Hear it? Robot uprising, maybe? turrets. Do I have a better weapon against turrets? Probably. Something's out there. Somewhere. This is definitely not an encounter I've ever seen. I have not seen it before either. Ooh. From above. I think. Nope. Medical lab? Josephson. All right, what is going on here? Third. Current system in place. Taking out the crew will be simple. I'll just need to prep the system with two commands. Ears activate all and remove combat inhibitors. Ears protect Mikkei Josephson. Once the turrets are active and the crew is dead, I can safely deliver the prototype to my contracts at Drone been told the price for this tech could be quite lucrative. He did this in the wrong order. Yep. 
<laughs> just, just going, hmm, I think I see what happened. So that pirate's dead. And presumably so is well, that they don't And the reload and happen to be messed over. I don't remember what drone is. I know I've heard it before, but that doesn't mean yeah, the much of anything. Weapons division of Mast is called Drip for the weapons testing. Only one more, it looks like. Oh, there's definitely dead somebody. Whether that be crew or whether that be somebody else. Ooh, somebody even went after the med pack. Lamar Nichols. The captain did not like the fact that I filled up the registry with uh, less than flattering names. But seriously, though, how was I supposed to know the thing was bugged beyond repair? Bottom line, I'm just trying to inject a little levity into everybody's job. Everyone here can be so down all of the time, and there's no reason for it. We've got the best job in the world, trying out new tech in the void of space, surrounded by the greatest late show in the galaxy. I need to remind folks of that, especially my man Yosef. Everything dude touches turns into a funeral, and we can't have that. Not on my watch. Just gotta figure out a way to make my guy smile. Okay. That seems almost completely unrelated, but sure. Consume. Zoom. I'll do a more thorough after. There's still something else here. But where? Because I've looped around. Oh, on a different floor now? Must be. I'm gonna intentionally make noise and Nope, not an actual hatch. Not an actual hatch. Over by the entrance, I suppose. Aha. This spot. Because I came from there, not here. Means I'm gonna get shot. Easy there, no bad guys around. Wait, no one's around, right? No people. Not but... anymore. Safety oh. protocol. Did you you got it? Yeah. Oh. Dead. Hmm. Metabolic agent. Various workbenches. And a slight. Ears voice registration test. Captain. Nichols, don't play around with registry. Put your name in there properly. What's wrong? You don't like saying ears protect the king? Protecting user Lamar Nichols. <sighs> Have your joke names in there. For the love of God, put Nichols and Lamar in there too. Fine, fine. I'll add my government name, but only because you said the magic word. Voice recognition seems to work, though. Looking at the current targeting subroutines, Nichols' protection is listed as priority. Hell yeah, as it should be. So it looks like the voice recognition system is the thing that they were testing? And there's the captain. Who has his light? Yep. God damn it. Voice registry is bugged and isn't recognizing any of the secondary names for the crew. Edits are also broken. It means the joke names Nicole entered as primary into the system are going to be what we use to identify individual users. Thankfully, the global functions work like they work, and I've set the current crew to be protected. It'll only be a problem if someone removes the combat inhibitors and we need to redo protections in the heat of battle. Testing these prototypes is always hassle. I need to ask for more creds next time. So, basically, none of the protection features worked. So by removing combat inhibitors, everybody got 
Yeah, point. and then he tried to protect his name, but only his nickname would work. Yeah. Okay. These people are idiots. Error, can't register new voices. Oh, hey, look. Earlink Oral Recognition Software. Okay. <laughs> mm, sorry. So theoretically, I could have sneaked up here and disabled it that way, but... And I'm assuming unavailable? Yeah, rendered inoperable. Yeah. Check the cargo and captain's locker. Yep. Money. Where's the cargo on this? Yeah, here. More money. And that's it for this place. Hey! Can't say I've ever seen this encounter. It might be part of the new stuff added with the patch. True. I hate using ladders in this game. It's so slow. Yeah, I always use the jetpack. Yeah, but the jetpack wasn't getting me up there. Okay. Undock. And might as well use the ship for target practice, I guess? Maybe We've quick detached. Google to see if that Let's happens to be a magazine location? I'm pretty sure it's not. for it. Mm. Well, that wasn't exactly what I was looking for. No. Any other ships? That there's isn't there's one. one. Oh, yep. Move suit. Uh, scan? F. Class hey friends, if you need any ship parts, feel free to answer the hail. Okay. Thanks for answering. So, a little context. My partner and I are celebrating our 10 year anniversary. We met over a hail, just like this one. I was in need of ship parts, and my husband, Saint that he is, offered to help. And to commemorate the event, we're inviting random passers-by on board. That sounds like a trap. Aren't you worried you run those skulls yourselves? Karma has a way of giving you what you need. If you do someone a favor, it's only a matter of time before it's returned. Not really, but sure. You know what? Great. Why not? See I'll soon. join the trap. What the hell? If this is legit... It it's weird. This is also one that I've never encountered before. I haven't either. I can dock. And this place has an allied ship. Mm hmm. But that can change at any moment. Yes. Nice clean dock there. I just had encountered a star parcel freighter Time that was listed Coral as an enemy. But they weren't attacking me. Oh. And after accepting the package, they turned into neutral. Ship How many parts. more stops do we have? I'm not sure. We packed a lot of helium. Just keep in mind this is a round trip. I'm a little wary of letting strangers on board, but so far we haven't run into any bad people. Uh, okay. Cargo hold, which would be stealing, I has a lot of stuff it's been on 10 it. Years actually, since we met. you remember how it started. I remember being so grateful I offered to give you my ship. I would have felt bad taking it. You were in dire straits. That's when I knew you were good people. Oh, in Anyone else would have had me barfing up creds. Please do not barf up creds. That sounds awful. Here's your ship parts, as promised. 
What the hell? <laughs> I am so damn confused right now. This is going to sound like a stupid question, but do you regret choosing me? What? Why would I regret us? I don't know. You were an explorer when we met, and you gave it all up so I could pursue my career. Are you kidding? Before I met you, I was always chasing something. I just didn't know what. But once I found that thing, Early. found you, there was no need to go back to space. Thank you, my love. Aww. And Sam decided to just make himself at home. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe the next ship we find will be hostile and we can finally test out our weapons. <laughs> okay, I am so damn confused. Two ship encounters in a row that I have never seen. Clean separation, Captain. Perfect. Any other ships in this system? That's yeah, probably... I know. The Hamasu. Nope. So let's move on to yeah. Wolai, or well, we, now we, we can... don't have to go there now. Yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, we do. So, time to introduce you all to Wolai. This ship needs a bigger reactor. I might have put too many guns on it. That's right. This is a major system. All right, we're done. Have a good time in Neon. Because this is Neon. Voli Alpha. It's a complete water world. So the only thing on the entire planet is Neon. Let's sell some things. I don't think this character is going to be staying in Neon. Neon's a bit of a place. Yeah, I don't like how loud it is. Like, all of the stores have audio advertisements. Landing site's clear. All so much here. noise pollution. Well, Neon is definitely Las Vegas in space. There is absolutely no question about that one. As your laser yes. puts into the ground. <laughs> Neon. Where every vice can be indulged, and they make up new vices every Thursday. Also, I want to finish scanning the planet, although that's not going to happen this time because it, I think no matter what, takes multiple attempts. But welcome to Neon. Can we get. There's nothing yeah. in the settled Thanks. systems quite like Neon. Crazy, terrible, but never dull neon. Got yeah. anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always buying. Kiosk right here for you. Sure, how about it? Now, whether they have anything that we care about is a different question. really wish there was a filter for weapon type. Yeah. There really should be. Although, I mean, I guess damage priority is kind of a way of doing that. I'm not seeing a whole bunch that... Yeah, I'm... Not really seeing anything better weapon wise, at least. They do have better shields, but it also takes more power, so. Uh, craft drive, same. Engines, we have way better. Cannon, they probably have better. It doesn't matter if the craft drive takes more power. We never fully power it. Yeah. That what is matters true. is the range. Mm -hmm. And these are both worse than what we have? Yes. 
Since the max power is the same for all of the off of graph yeah, drive. Yeah, it's the graph jump thrust that matters. Yeah. I'm right. I have a crap ton of things in my inventory. Mate wise, don't I? I just need to unload into my ship. I must confess, share the wealth, right? And you need ammo for the Equinox, it looks like. So that is three kilovolt. Ammo. Three kilovolt. I think 50 One. caliber caseless is his default ammo. Sure, I can throw some of that as well. Just in case. I think he has a so low over as his standard weapon. I am super overburdened. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother staying for long in the end. No, we're only here because the graph guy can take us further. Yep. And I'm gonna actually remember to unload a lot of my crap into the ship inventory. Assuming I have space. I think I do at least. Yeah, it's only about half full. Yeah. And put this B in the screen. Put everything else in. That's what it is. Thank you. It's like, I should not have this much weight on me. I still shouldn't have this much weight on me. And the but... alien genetic material is also a little heavy. Yeah, it is. I usually keep one on me if I'm playing a character who can't make camps out of it. Mm. Okay. So, Neon is That's something that my other character basically did all the quests on. Yeah. the Reunion Industries Tower. Yeah, because your other character is a Neon Street rat. Yep. She grew up in the rough streets of Neon. Hell of a view from here. Not wrong. Anyway, anything in this system before I blast off? Structure. Before I do that, let me make sure I'm saved because mm -hmm. I don't remember quick saving. So, not ah, chip. What am I doing? App. Chip. 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 By the way, did we actually start the timer? I think I did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Want to make sure? Chip. Varun Shroudbearer. Plus M, yeah. That's the big one. Yeah, that's... That's not... What the hell are they doing here? What are they doing there? We keep fighting these capital ships. I know, why? <laughs> but the uh, Camulus actually... Um... Oh, that's right, it's the autonomous star yard. Moved after I took out its escort, so I can't go back and find it, mm. which is sad. I read it. Speaking weapon. of the Camulus, it has arrived here. Ooh. So both the Varun Shroudbearer and the Ecliptic Camulus are here. Was it Shroudbreaker? Shroudbearer. Here. Okay. Why are they following me? 
<laughs> I don't like this. Let's move out of the system, please. Because we're now back into normal area. Well, hopefully I'll run into it eventually. So... We should use a mission. Not doing that one. Should we do Londinian at this point? No, we should, uh... Do a little main hall, please. really like the main plot that much so you far. haven't done it you can't say you don't like the main plot when you haven't done the main plot nice jump we're right on target there is something else here Package. Tripping crate. No, zooming only helps if you actually have anything in your hands. Water. And yes, I just flew right through that asteroid because it doesn't really exist. All right, Rakion 2. Neon and ionic liquids and that's true. Yep, there's and a fracking station. And it's not an extreme environment, so nope. you could set up an outpost here. That is true. Of course, good luck finding all of those in the same location because... Yeah, let's see. Um... Because we also don't have a high enough scanning skill to see where any of right. the... Even though this character problem. does have scanning skill. No, we have serving skill. Oh, that's right. You're right. Good to go for landing. Time to shove that laser back into the ground where it belongs. Saved by the camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who should I bring with me this time? First step on a new world full of life. Whoever you want. All the direct distortions to the source. Hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, I saw the structure. Hmm, I think I see the distortions. Just saying. I mean, I think I see your destination. Yes. Yes, I also see it. I actually remember it being hard to find my first time, but I also didn't figure out what following the distortions meant. Mm -hmm. Right away. Florian, the weirdest element that we know of. Hunting shield shell. A relatively abundant planet of life. Action time! Damn it, Sam! Fearless. Why am I fighting using that? I guess it's good enough. Uh, for level one, I suppose it is. Like old times. That's it now? This ain't over. Not by a long shot. That one's elite. You brought some extra layers, right? Otherwise, you'll make a fantastic icicle. Doesn't seem to be hostile. It hasn't seen me. I'm not sneaking. Now it sees me. Also, I heard hissing from my cats, I think. Did I, or was that just something in-game? I don't know. 
not sure. Okay. Sony is standing on five. But this is happening. On top. Oh. I guess I'm going the shoot everything approach in this place. Does focusing the beam do more damage? I'm not sure. I know it doesn't alter the range. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, they have non-lethal harvest. A as if they're not gonna attack you if you walk up to them. Yeah. <sighs> I really don't like the way they did... Like... I understand the scanning and everything, except it feels like they're missing the other half of, like, the payoff. That might have done more damage. It's hard to... Well, one way to find out. No. <laughs> that did not help. Thanks, Sam. I know you were trying to be helpful. I'm not really blaming you, but... Because you kind of ruined the science. Yes. Science. It looked it's a temple. Mm -hmm. So I have found a temple without having the quest for it. You have? Yes. Nice. You got a beat I didn't on know anything? That was possible. You saw me do it. Did I? Yeah. I was still living at the old place. It was with Lara. Lara. Mm, doesn't ring any bells. But I found a random temple on a moon. Had no oxygen. I jumped up to the top of it and was standing there. I have nothing that I can do with it, though. Oh, it won't even let you in? No. There was no entrance. Do you have a... Well, can you show me? After... Uh, if or... I remember what world. I have no idea what world that was, though. Mm. And that was before we moved. So we're talking two months ago? I'm pretty sure what I remembered if you told me. Now it didn't quite look like this, though, but it was something. definitely temple something. And what is it? Why? Um, <laughs> I'm having a hard time wrapping my brain around that. But actually seeing it. Eh, it looks like a weird structure with a bunch of anti-gravity stuff. First time, Sam? There's another anomaly there. There's tons of anomalies. Okay. My uh, hypothesis is that there are anomalies on every world that has a temple. And so far that seems... Like, I have found anomalies on worlds I haven't found temples yet. But on my current char new character, I am keeping a list of where I find anomalies and where I found artifact and temple. Mm -hmm. And the locations are somewhat randomized, but this one's always the same, I think. That would make sense. It's the first one. Yeah. And artifact Eta was the one you found on Bacterra. Hmm. Suppose we're doing main line block. Ah, there's no gravity in here. This isn't the first time this well, character's this in keeps getting weirder. Gravity, right? You get the feeling that this room is watching us? Came from. No, 
know that. And the, the game, game crashed. crashed. One moment. And we're back. Uh, it did autosave right inside. Why are there multiple loading screens in the temple? Oh, that was the other side. Yep. Well, that would explain why there are multiple loading screens inside of the temple. Yeah, the temple is just meant for him. Oh. Okay. I did the exact same thing my first time. So, is there anything in the temple beyond this? I'm not seeing anything to interact with. Other than Sam. Any day you make it through is a victory in my book. Take it easy. I'm pointing your gun at me. Random mode of light. Ah. There are modes of light I'm supposed to walk through, apparently. the next mode of light. What's above you, I think? Ah, up there. Things? I think all the music can make them go crazy! Top is power, okay. Anti-gravity field. Localized intense low gravity and behold the planet's true power. If I hadn't seen that with my own two eyes, I wouldn't believe it. Hell, I still don't. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind when you have the time. Jesus. I am... Um... Losing, uh, it's hazardous weather. Mm. You got time for a quick chat? I appreciate it when you're able. You need Maybe something? You didn't... I don't got many friends, so I figure I gotta level with you. My past keeps showing up. <laughs> Your past has been weird alien it. temples. <sighs> yeah, this is tougher than I thought it was gonna be. That means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There's a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. I see that. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. <sighs> Oh, the charm of accounting wrapped up in bureaucracy. <laughs> yeah, that's about the size of it. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, 
Don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Mm. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but suddenly, God help me, it was fun. Ooh, this would not end well. <laughs> you think? So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. Not directly. And I'd tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. Yep. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Now, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. <laughs> you are crazy. Literally crazy. But no, I can absolutely see you doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't flinch from living life on the edge a little. a little. Anyway, and then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well, it's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. Oh, that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Mm -hmm. Seems the rangers there. were <laughs> impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. Lillian knew you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes, she knew. She jettisoned it herself. <laughs> I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. But you're not that kid anymore. Well, after I hit bottom, <laughs> I learned a lot. Fast. But the thing that scares me is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me, I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... <sighs> Always time to flirt. That means a great deal to me. Just so you know, all this... This is why Lillian is... something else. And I really need to own that. I have a tough talk with Lillian. Tell her about that follow-through you mentioned. Cora's at an important age right now. Every visit counts. You can't flake on her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Let's treat my frostbite. Like getting a root canal. <laughs> anyway, um... I believe I was trying to do something. Holy shit, I ain't never getting used to that. Is it just not working on him, or do you need to aim at his feet or something? I don't know, I'd have to let it recharge. I mean, you don't have to. It does count as an attack typically, but I think you're forgiven the first time. Ah. So, quick save before trying it again. Nope. 
He's just not the big point. Yep, he's immune to it. I wanted to try it on actual enemy though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's fun. I have to wait for it to charge back up. multiple injuries now. Oh, you have frostbite and hypothermia? Yes. You can just pass terrible to your ship. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm not overburdened. I'm used to being overburdened all the time, okay? <laughs> Back to lunch? Or treat injuries? Treat injuries. Sorry, I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I? Mm hmm. He has some. Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh, yeah, I do. Man. Meatloaf! Awesome. But it's not crap house meatloaf. Of course not. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grab tech cheating? Bye! Where was the bed on the ship? I know there is one. Is it on a different floor? There's the armory. I thought there was a bed on the there ship. Up uh, oh, there it is. Yeah. Did I hear uh, snoring? Maybe. Maybe. We were that exhausted. And. I don't have both Jerry. yellow and orange without using Panacea. So I might as well use... Your paste and injector. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Read any good books lately? If only. Stone's curling up next to us. Not really curling up so much as loafing. Okay. Are you happy? I progressed plot. Mm -hmm. Ready here. Core is good too. Core is always ready. Though. Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. Yes. Random stranger in the depths of space if they know how to get where we're going better than I do. Hey. That's because we did jump past it. Robin, can you go five minutes without interrupting me? Maybe if you listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. This was family Robinson. I mean, I'm still here if the two of you want directions. Yes, yes we do. I am so sorry about this. Some of us get a little testy when we're in the wrong. In the wrong, my ass. They're gonna say it's ahead of us. You watch. <laughs> well, we'll just see about that, won't we? So, they never said where they were going. Uh-huh. And, well, if you choose a different option than they do, but, but you also have no relative direction. Yeah, that's been my problem with this encounter. I have had this encounter before for us. That's because we did jump past it. Robin! Maybe if you listen to me... Already got one, thanks. 
She's the one who suggested this damn trip. Visit the big city, she said. The excitement will be good for you too. Oh, if only someone had suggested a quiet weekend at home instead of traipsing around the entire galaxy in a rental ship. Oh, if only. Look, do you know the way or not? The sooner we get off the ship, the better. And I still haven't said where they're going. Well, I haven't said where they're going. That's because we did jump past it. Robin! Maybe if you listen Robin. to me every once in a while. Let's skip the drive. I'm with you. Unlike some people on this ship. Oh, so now I'm the dramatic one. Oh, you've got some nerve. Do you know the way or not? Yeah. The sooner we get off They're the not ship, telling me. The better. I know they've told me before. Yeah. I mean, I have no idea where you're going, so. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're heading the wrong way, but. Oh, great. Thanks for nothing, pal. John, that's no way to treat a stranger. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, I'm never going to hear the end of this. Thanks for your help. Make your way. Got you on calm. <laughs> <laughs> Got you on calm. So, what else is in the system? Any ships? No. Not that our scanners can pick up anyway. Nope. Back to the launch. I suppose. I don't know why I did it that way. Because there's not much time you left. Yeah. There's a ship in orbit around Jemison. But I'm going straight to the lodge. There's eight minutes left. Mm -hmm. Might have enough to talk through. Not, and I would hope it. that would take less than eight minutes. We're here for the lodge? Yes. Isolation. It's always nice to come home. Ooh, Vladimir's down. Mm -hmm. This is an old members meeting. Apparently. All members except for Sarah and Barrett. Of course, they're going to Griggs is bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm going to start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. Whatever beings made the artifacts sure love their puzzles. Some kind of test? Were the artifacts meant to lead us there? Um, Vladimir, look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? In front of Vladimir. So not on Vladimir, but in front of Vladimir. I usually throw something on the floor so I can make it float. That's a good idea. Do we have any fun things? Oh, we don't really have any fun things. Everyone saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's like very a obvious. Little gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Of course, Walter. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird weird. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna use this everywhere. <laughs> yep. Well, I suppose we can't stop you. But I'm joining the Deny Everything to the Public Club for a while. Oh man, I don't blame you. But who Gracious knows just how like that. everyone would react to this. I can't believe I'm saying this, but maybe we play it safe for now. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory, there might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. 
Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. I think there's one temple for each artifact? It's a strong theory. Couldn't find that planetary anomaly without the data from the artifact. We'll need one to find the other. All the planets might have gravitational anomalies. Could I just search for all of them? You'd still need to cross-reference the artifacts we have with the data from the eye to pinpoint the source. Planet is big. Yeah, although the game doesn't make it feel that way. So I'll follow up on the other anomaly you found. Don't think it's just fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten, all seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway, catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, a I have lot something of I'd like to discuss. And Walter wants to talk. Mm -hmm. Um... Doesn't that mean that Barrett could have done the exact same thing that we did? I believe Captain, so. I am fully updated and ready to assist with tasks. You updated? Captain, you have returned. A cursory scan indicates that you are in good health. I will go wherever. Yeah, currently assigned to the ship is Sarah and Sam and Barrett for a two-person ship. Yeah, because Sarah is bugged and doesn't count. Yep. Heller and Lynn are at the one outpost that I have that isn't doing anything. And Andresia is not assigned at all. And neither is Vasco. You can talk to Walter. I'm going to. I have three minutes. I'm I must admit, music. you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Soiree? Just what are you doing? A business meeting, of a sort at least. I mean, you could just say that you need my help. All right, fine. I need your help. Okay. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. <laughs> and I think you'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. All right, I'm in. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. This is not going to go well. Nothing ever goes well on Neon. <laughs> It'll be easy. I promise. <laughs> I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Okay. I'm going to say not now because I'm going to save and stop. That's it. Okay. To Your whole really... star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. This quest is fun. Okay. And you get to meet his wife. Well, that part might be fun. Well, hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.